For drilling aluminum, uh, especially large holes, I use a drill press. This is the homemade drill press table that I made and it includes these T-slots on two sides and allows me to use a clamp like this. This is just a bolt with a, a knob and a bent piece of steel. But that allows me to clamp my work down while I drill. It also has a fence on the back which is adjustable. This table also has a removable plate. So if you slide the fence back, you can see this plate has been worn out by drilling. So you can simply replace it with a new piece of 3 quarter inch MDF. For drilling holes in this 3 8 inch piece of aluminum, I typically mount a template like this and using a center punch, I'll mark where the holes need to go. Next I've inserted this small 1 8 inch diameter drill bit and I'm going to use it to drill a series of pilot holes in my work. This will help locate and make it easier to drill the larger diameter holes. The speed I'm using is about 580 RPM. When doing precision work like this you want to make sure that the drill bit is perfectly perpendicular to the drilling surface. To drill these large holes in aluminum, uh, change the speed down to a medium speed and you do that by changing the belts on these pulleys. Here I'm using a quarter inch drill bit in 3 8 inch aluminum and I've set the speed to 2500 RPM and I've clamped the work down with a clamp. Now I need to drill this 5 16 inch hole and so I've installed the appropriate drill bit and clamped it down. Now all I need to do is lubricate it and cut. To get rid of the rough edges on your holes, you can use a countersink bit like this. And I just hand chamfer. These are hole saws and they typically come in different sizes depending on what size hole you need and come with the hole saw itself, the arbor and a pilot drill. For cutting large holes in this aluminum I've installed a hole saw which is an inch and a half into the drill press and uh, I'm using the fence and these two clamps to clamp down the work and I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. Uh, speed is at 580 RPM. Here you can see how the pilot hole helps center the pilot bit in drilling these large diameter holes. Then just remove the rough edges with this deburring tool. And you've got a part that you made with a drill press and modified woodworking tools.